Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over how to obtain a greatsword for when Bristol Sand releases next month. I got a few different ways of how to obtain one. The first way you want to talk about is crafting it. And in order to craft it, you're going to want your weapon smithy in the level 200. And you want this legendary resource called Empower Counterbalance. And if you don't have any, I recommend picking at least two up. Because the prices on these are probably going to go up. Right now it's at 500, but this price will probably go up to 1000 to 1500, maybe even more. Even if you don't have your weapon smithing leveling up, maybe just placing a few buy orders and flipping it for good money. It's up to you. I want to go over the perks with you guys and show you all the different great swords you're able to craft with these. And then I also want to show you a few other ways you can get a great sword in case you don't have your weapon smithing leveled up. So yeah, let's get started. So these are all the different great swords you'll be able to craft with weapon smithing station. And as you can see, each one requires at least two empowered count balances to craft them. And let's go over the perks on them. The first one's called Flint. It has 29 Strength, Angry Earthbane, Chain Fire, and Vicious. Then we got Light Blade with Sure Footing, Trenchant Strikes, Keen. Next up, we got Dismemberment with 29 Strength, Trenchant Crits, Keenly Jagged, and Keen. Then we got Rough Edge, 29 Dexterity, Vicious, Keenly Jagged, and Keen. Gutter Rung, 9 Con, 20 Dex. Rogue, Plate Strikes, and King. And then lastly, we got Breath of the Sky with 29 Dexterity, Skyward Nullification, Vicious, and King. So these are some really great great swords, especially these two right here. Perk wise, I don't see it getting much better than this, honestly. And not only can you craft these, but these are all buying on equipped too. So you'll be able to sell them as well. And I, I can see these going for about 15 to 20k easily, especially on launch. So if you want to make a ton of cash, I recommend getting your weapon smithing leveled up, getting all the mats, like do all your daily cooldowns, and then you can buy the rest of these mats for pretty cheap. So yeah, so not only can you craft a really good great sword right here, you can also make a ton of cash in the process. I also have a few other ways you guys can get your hands on a great sword as well. So I was able to find a few great swords that drop from dungeons. The first one I was able to find is called Blackguard's Great Sword, and it drops from Tempest from Makiki. It has 29 decks, trenchant strikes, keen and keenly empowered. So really good great sword right there. And the next one's from the new dungeon called Uned. And it drops from General Crossus. And he drops Legate's Pride. It has 29 decks, Corrupted Bane, Vicious and Shirking Lightning. Not the best, but not bad either. And then we got this one called Unyielding Cleaver. With 30 strength, throwing strikes, keenly powered, sure footing. And this one could drop from any one of the name bosses in the Ined dungeon. They all have a chance to drop this one. And then this one over here is from the Halloween event that we're getting towards the end of October. It was data mine that was going to be on October 18th, I think. But it's called Night Veil Great Sword of the Ranger and has 30 decks, keen, and then two random perks. And what's cool about this is you don't you don't have to be like leveled up in weaponsmithing to get this it's just a pattern and you're able to just take it over the weaponsmithing station no matter what level you're at and you're able to get a 600 great sword with random perks on it so it's gonna be really good for for returning players or new players to be able to get their hands on a great sword right away once the event drops and these ones right here they drop from different mutations of the dungeons like this one has a chance to drop from hellfire and then this one's from what is it nature yeah nature then we got void and then we got ice so any one anytime it's a mutation dungeon these have a chance to drop with it and these are the ones i was able to find through the dungeons and then lastly if you want to get your hands on one right away the faction vendors actually have are going to be updated with great swords and they all have the same perks on them they have 25 decks enchanted and keen so if you just want something right away, just make sure you have some um, faction tokens on you and you'll be able to pick one up right away. Oh, and also get your rep up if you need to get your rep up too. And then this one, this one drops in Brimstone Sands. Just any any name boss or any any mob type drops has a chance to drop this great sword with a random perk. So these, these are all the great swords I was able to find just look online and look on the world database. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description for the website. 
And uh, I just want to share this information with you guys so that way when Bridgestone Sam releases, you have a chance to get a great sword or know where to pick one up at. And uh, yeah, that's everything I want to share with you guys. Let me know what you think of the video. And for everything new world, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a great day.